Canadians have told us how important our waters, fish, and fisheries are to them. They know that healthy fish and fish habitat mean a healthy environment for everyone. They also know that a healthy fishery means more, better paying jobs now and into the future. The new funding I announced a moment ago will also enable meaningful partnership with First Nations, Métis and Inuit peoples. A renewed nation-to-nation -nation relationship with First Nations, Métis and Inuit based on the recognition of rights, respect, cooperation and partnership is one of our government's most important priorities. What we hope to do and what we're doing in a number of cases is co-managing uh, with Indigenous nations. I have been inspired by the conversations I've had with Indigenous leaders in this province and right across the country about their desire to sustainably manage fish stocks. Um, I'm wide open to continuing those conversations with Indigenous leaders. Um, I said to some officials in my department, we have a number of decisions in the coming weeks that we need to make around allocations. And obviously, the views of Indigenous leaders and their traditional knowledge are, for me, an absolutely critical part of those decision-making uh, uh, processes. So um, I think one of the challenges we have is uh, to develop in a coherent way as a government this nation-to-nation -nation relationship based on the recognition of rights, something that we talk about often. Uh, many Indigenous communities uh, have for a long time advocated uh, this co-management approach. And frankly, in this province, there are great examples where that can work very well. Um, we have challenges in other parts of the country in some cases, uh, but I'm very optimistic that we'll continue to work with Indigenous communities in this province because they share many of the same objectives that our government does around the sustainable use of, of fish uh, and the protection of fish habitats.